In Sierra Leone, nearly 80% of employed women work in agri-food systems. Yet, gender inequalities in accessing productive resources and decision-making processes prevent them from achieving a significant economic impact. Women played a very significant role in the attainment of food security in Sierra Leone. They are part of um, the production, the processing and the marketing. So part of what we eat on a daily basis is being grown and produced and processed by women. The challenges they face with the preconceived ideas that women are always in the kitchen, that they should not come to the public, that women are, they should not be part of decision making has really deterred the participation of women in decision making in agriculture. FAO, in collaboration with the NGO Solidaridad, developed a training program tailored to the needs of rural women. The program aims to strengthen rural women's capacities to voice their challenges and participate in policy dialogue related to responsible investment in agriculture. A responsible investment in agriculture is an investment that leads to a good outcome for all stakeholders involved. So including the people that are usually marginalized, like youth and women. For instance, a responsible investment in agriculture will create job opportunity for women. And it's also key to empower women to invest in agriculture themselves, to create their own agribusinesses by facilitating access to land, access to quality farming inputs, access to women-friendly machineries, uh, access to finance also. FAO and Solidaridad have organized two trainings of trainers to equip agents of change with skills and knowledge that will help rural women thrive in the agricultural sector. Women played a key role across all the value chain. But in most cases, they are not seen at decision-making processes. They are not um, engaged in policy formulation. And most times, this policy affects them directly. So part of what this training is trying to do is to address those gaps. So part of the training is to build capacities of rural women so that they'll be able to participate actively when it comes to policy formulation, when it comes to decision-making processes, when it comes to agriculture in general. With this training, we want them to learn uh, all about responsible agricultural investments and rural women's challenges to engage in agricultural investment. We are actually uh, trying to equip them with a specific methodology that is designed for the grassroots rural women, so using a lot of audiovisual, role play, group work, to make sure that we have a training that is inclusive and include also the women that have a low level of literacy. One thing that I've learned in particular is that doing a responsible agriculture investment, the rural women need to be empowered. They need to be aware of their own rights, how they can make their own input. Once ready, the trainers replicate the trainings in districts across the country, benefiting rural women farmers. The dialogue event is really to give an opportunity to the grassroots rural women to present their recommendation to the local leaders, to discuss with them, to initiate a dialogue so that they can find solution together. I think one main benefit is that they will be able to stood up to talk for themselves in the area of bringing out their issues, it will boost in them confidence. This training will actually boost in them their self-esteem. And also, it will make available different referral pathways on how to channel their issues and how they can develop more and new skills. I believe that this training will help women, especially with the involvement of men, being that they are the stakeholders, they will see the need to bring women on board in decision-making.